Joey Ebro. Badass is Snapchatting, Snapchatting, Snapchatting <laughs> on Ebro in the morning with Laura Styles and Rose. Yeah, I don't do the Snapchat. <laughs> I'm a Periscope this too. I'm a, uh, that's what I mean. It's all digital. We got to promote Snapchat. This. You Periscope. Yeah, what are you going to do, Laura Styles? I'm going to Snapchat back. Because I still <laughs> believe in Yo, Snapchat. Yo, follow me on Snapchat. Okay, I'm going to look for you, you right don't, now. You don't follow Joey? Is it just at Laura Styles? Yeah. yeah. No, she, Laura Styles 01. Oh. Because, you know, somebody tried to take my shit. Oh, took my somebody shit. Somebody took your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespect. Yo, this, the social media thing is real in these streets. You Mine see what's happening out here? Badman Joseph. Here, put, Joseph. Your name, put your name in there. Um, Badman So, Joey Joseph. Badass. Um, we got to get to it. You're at 150, 60,000 records sold. Yes. And uh, another <laughs> rapper came out of Brooklyn saying he was the hottest independent act coming out of Brooklyn. Hashtag right. fake independent. That's what he called him on the tweet. Oh, right. damn. That's and a fact, though. And he came for you or you came for him because you didn't appreciate nah, it. Nah, nobody ain't come for me. Nobody ain't come for me. So how did it happen? How did the back and forth between you and Troy have happen? I have the tweets if you want me to read them. Well, bring those up while Joe okay. The instigation this. of the I sin. Know, know. Nah, but, but just... Nah, let's, let's, let's and, let's, and, and not in a gossipy way, but just in a hip-hop, yeah. Brooklyn, yeah. New York City, nah, you know, I, two I cats think, doing it. I think it definitely deserves to be spoken about. So, um, wait, you, you said you was going to uh, put the proof... Like, you you want to read the tweets? Read the tweets? Yeah, you want me to read? Okay, hold yeah, on. Stop Snapchatting right. and be a fucking <laughs> journalist, God damn it! Get your shit together, Laura Styles. <laughs> this, 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 is Joe, Joe this is the new here. media. This is the new media. <laughs> we just agreed that that's what you were going to do. I know. That's, I was Snapchatting. That's what I was doing. But yeah. I'm here. All right, hold Snapchat on. Snapchat doesn't fucking help the show. All right, so man. yes, remember, uh, let me see. Here we go. We are here. So Troy Ave said that he was the number one, you know, the biggest independent no, no, artist out today. No, no, I think I said that. I think I said No, but didn't, didn't, no, Troy Ave said it here first. He said it on this show. Yeah, and you okay. responded and you said, um, reminder, Joey Badass sold right 57,000 plus albums his first week <laughs> independently in big caps. Yeah. At 20 years old, $10 an album, 85% of shares, do the math, makes me the number one independent hip hop artist slash brand in the world. Right. And that then Troy like Ave responds, That's a fact, though. no single, no party hostings, no real endorsements. Reminder, nobody cares. Plus, you work for Sony Red slash Cinematic Records, hashtag fake independent. And you said nothing after that. Yeah. You didn't you care like, no more. Yeah. I mean, I just felt like, I mean, you know, the last, what he said, it just was like, all right, you know, how can I argue? You know, he, he's right. You know, I, He's, he's absolutely right, right? You know? I mean, I just kind of let my fans just, like, <laughs> well, uh, deal with it. But, all right, I want to explain the whole situation, though. Um, So, you know, basically, you know, I put out that tweet, and because of my six, I felt what I said, you know, at the end of the day, it could have, anybody could have felt the way about it. You know what I'm saying? Not just him. You know, there's people who came out this year who, who did similar numbers to him. Or, or who did like, you know, way lower numbers than I did and who's like way bigger artist than me and stuff like that. So what I said could have made anybody feel the way, but he chose to get like, you know, particularly insecure about what I and said. And he was in due, the moment where he was catching Exactly, steam. due to the timing of right. when I said it, you right. know what I'm saying? So um, I've actually watched the interview and um, people, people in my mentions, you know, like, yo, you know, uh, blah, 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 talking about you in the interview. So, you know, of course I go look at it, talking about CJ and talking about stuff. You know, I was a topic in the interview, but what I did realize in the interview, like, you know, as you guys were talking to him, so one of you guys forgot to let him. No, 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 I didn't know. forget. No, you, I very specifically. You did, though. You no, no, did, no, though. let me explain, though. I specifically uh, didn't say it. As I told you guys afterwards, I said, I, came, say I came to Ebro afterwards and I went, listen. I was trying to say with because I didn't want to create a problem. And no, if I'd come I out there, it. I but wanted to say, problem. Troy, you know, Joey sold one hundred thirty thousand fucking records. Because look, on some on some G shit, like you know, I watched that whole interview. I mean, I mean, I didn't agree with every point, but it was some things that he was saying is a factor. Like yo, to at some point you got to have a level of respect for Troy because at the end of the day, we're both two independent artists who standing on major platforms next to a whole bunch of major artists and they know who we are and they show us respect. So, you know, you got to give respect where it's due. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I respect Troy for that in some aspects of it, but you can't be like, I, you know, I, I'm not here to shoot anyone down. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to be against anybody. Everybody know I'm here to unite this whole shit. Yep. And that's exactly right. what I'm going to do is unite this whole shit. So, you know what I'm saying? We, um, 
we 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 like briefly spoke about it through mutual friends, and you know it got squashed. You know and that's because it's not real beef. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it was. And let's be honest. I mean, real beef doesn't even exist today in the right. rap game. Like you know, what is real beef? Like come on, we got all of these technology devices. Yo, bro, I'm gonna hop on the phone and we gonna speak about this shit. Well, and like, it's competitive. <laughs> like in hip hop, y'all was being competitive. He's he's you know speaking up for himself. Yeah, and you're and out I was here speaking working, up for myself. And like, that's like yo, yeah. I made a statement that I feel yes. like truly the whole world forgot about. Yep. So well, I listen, said, I'll reminder honest, to the I forgot. world. I forgot. I, and I, I know you forgot. I forgot. I and I, and I, I know you forgot. I, and you guys are not the only people who well, forgot. Now, BET know, Awards forgot because I didn't get invited to the damn awards. Huh. Well, why would you? Only sold a, you only sold $150,000. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Well, wait, I'm, wait, I'm, wait, I'm only an independent artist. No, no, no. I no, only no. sold more than like all of the major artists in my lane this year. But it is not a right, big right, deal. Right. I, I just want to say real clearly, though, because I, my problem was I have actually had conversations with both sides about like their feelings on things. I was just trying to be different delicate about Brooklyn shit and didn't want shit to get weird and be the person who hypes up beef between two people that I know. So And that you like. And that I like. Yeah. But let me be clear. You know, I I was sitting there thinking as Troy was saying, I mean, yo, it's it's really hard to have beef with me. I can't lie. Well, no, you you got to really disrespect me I've tried. for I've me tried to like really be on some like on, like you know what I'm saying? It's just <laughs> I don't know, I'm just But it should be stated. It should be stated. You know, Ebro, you said to Troy when Troy was like, you know, I sold eight thousand or whatever it was, and you're like, those numbers aren't great. What was passing through my head was, and you, you said how many you said sell? it? I know you how many, it, you're right. Yeah, how y'all gonna bring me up? But like, not but say then that you're hide right. The, like the fucking how thing. many did you sell first week? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, fifty-seven thousand. Fifty-seven thousand copies the first week. So there's no how you, that's in a, the in the conversation when Troy was here, he. I we asked him about collaborating with other Brooklyn rappers. Is that how CJ Fly came up? Uh, I said I nah, yeah, I asked him something about I, I don't remember. I was I was basically like, there were some other people doing a lot of stuff pro era blah 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 blah. I said it was something. Like, yeah, I fuck, I fuck with pro. Well, and then he goes, what's well, name? He was what's the dude's name? Yeah. Who I did a song with on your mixtape because they did a song on my mixtape. And he was I was like, oh CJ uh, Fly. And he was like, oh yeah yeah. He's so nice. that was your way of kind of being like, all right, my man. I'm gonna I was trying. Here. I, you know what? Though that was stupid. I should have. But then yo, Ebo, Ebo, I'm mad at you though too because then yo, y'all was like, you was like, yo. Uh, uh, then he was like, yo, fam, Kendrick Lamar album. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, like, I went right above. I yeah, went, I went, you went I straight went. to the West Coast, though, but I understand that's where you from. So you was <laughs> rocking the whole wild. team. No, it wasn't but even you, I don't you know, even look at Kendrick. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't look at, size, can I be honest with you? Be nice. I don't look at Kendrick as a, as a, LA rapper. I don't even look at him like that. Like I don't look at Dre. Yeah. I don't look at rappers like that anymore. Yeah, I mean, like cuz I feel like regional. So why I look at me as a New York rapper? No, because I, I think you just represent a certain sound that you're trying to represent out of Brooklyn. And that's something that you hang your hat on and that should be I think something that should be prof should be profound. Right. So I just and look, I straight forgot my G. I did, I, I'm telling you, mine forgot. was an attempt to be delicate and not create an issue. And you know what? I, I don't think I did that right. I think I could have handled it and just been like, "Hey, listen, not to talk shit, but you should know, Joey sold 130,000 oh, so copies and he's like, independent. And you know, what that's, I'm true, that's true story. And after and why kinda, I, I, I respond to the fake independent part though? Well, well, how does the? I don't care about that. But like, it, how? But it's not how, even, how am I fake independent? I'm here doing this shit. Are you, my, you 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 see any manager in here with me? You, you what, what's what's the argument one would nah, make, bro? You, you know, you know. I, I what, walked in with well, now. That's Troy's my on, man. You well, know what no, I'm saying? I, mean, like, I walked in with, with Joe Heck. You know, that's my man. But you Troy know, has, I'm here. Um, like, what is this distribution? Uh, Empire, which is a distribution through capital. I think is the way it routes. And Sony Red, which is an independent, you know, distribution thing yeah. where they take independent. That's he's through that, and he has a partnership with Cinematic, which is through Red. So but Cinematic is Johnny Shipes. Wait, that's right, right. Only you, Johnny Shipes, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's some huge company. It's but Johnny Shipes. independent means that you're doing the work independently. Yeah. You don't have a marketing machine. Yo, uh, you don't the have thing a, that a lot of people don't understand is what I actually do for my career. You know what I'm saying? Like I do like. Ma like everything you know what i'm saying everything comes through me like i am literally the boss of my operation things don't move unless i approve it unless i say so like that's real that's how it is I tried like, to get a photo and a lot of people like a lot of people guy. don't understand that like you know what i'm saying my whole operation is being ran by me is nobody else when behind did that, it. When did it's that not start a happening? label. When did that go, though? Because for a while, there was a time when you seemed like much more of a kid and like Johnny was leading. I'm, I mean, and now it and seems like granted, you're You know what I'm saying? Like, I was learning and I was growing up. And I'm still learning. I'm still growing. You know what I'm saying? I could I could never know everything. But um, but yeah, when did I, you start taking on more of it? Um, Definitely like uh, 
like since I was 18, like you got ask Shipes, like, you know, I've always been somebody who's been on top of my stuff. There's never been like even with me and Shipes relationship, like he already knows like the 100 percent creative decision and even the executive decision. Like it comes from me. Like it's my decision. Shipes will never be like, yo, nah, we ain't going to do this if I said it. And they're like, nah, we can't do that. We're going to do this. Nah. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're going to come to equal terms based on what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's always been. But now, um, yeah, I've got older. So, you know, I've been taking the will even more. You know what I'm saying? I've been driving it even more. Like, holding the torch, being the boss. Like, now I'm playing my position. So, yeah. Speaking of boss, uh, Kirk Knight's next. Yes, sir. So tell us about Kirk Knight. What's, Yo, the, what's the plan? So my brother Kirk Knight, he just finished his debut project and... It sound is so filthy, so so filthy. And he's a producer and MC. But um, I don't want you guys to get expectations, of course. But yeah, it's really great. <laughs> <laughs> but he produced records on yeah. He produced every single record on his on his new project. But he also had done work. So people who aren't familiar, he's done work. Yes, with he's done Hazel's View. He's done Big Dusty, and he's done a million other hits for me too. Yeah, go. so um, Joey Badass is here. He brought in the morning, Laura Styles and Rosenberg. You want to let's Steve's get into a day. song and then okay. we'll come back and let's talk Steve's Day, okay? Which is uh going on later on today, uh, Central Park Summer Stage, which is a big deal. Should not be just like it's not some small little oh, Central oh, Park situation. You mean, you mean how it sold over 5,000 tickets, yeah. yeah, and all the money goes to Yo, Steve's fam, don't family. Try to, don't stun on Troy App because he's not Trey. here. I'm not stunning Troy when he was here. I'm stunning on the world. Well, that's not, that wasn't a Troy Ave stunt. That was a direct stunt on the world. You should know whatever you're doing. You pro, feel me? It's direct stunt on the world. Pro eras. Like now you're trying to make up to Joey. Yeah, now yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah. kissing yeah. ass. I feel bad. You're kissing ass. Shut up, Laura. <laughs> Hot 97, Ebro in the morning. Laura Styles, Rosenberg, Joey Badass. Um, we just finished uh, kissing Joey Badass's ass pause, for pause, leaving him, pause, pause pause that. For leaving him really out of that. the Troy Ave interview because I straight forgot. Rosenberg didn't forget but chose to leave it out anyway. So actually, I mean, you should make up to Joey Badass more. At the end end of the day like it, it's, it's way bigger than just leaving my name out of an interview like I mean you know if you guys are gonna leave me out these conversations so be it but you know but by the way I'm, you know we should address I'm, I'm here it, it exists we know we That's should address right. and it's never gonna go away and I'm gonna always keep reminding y'all and by the way you know, we, we, should, we should address something now with Joey Joey still on some level doesn't feel supported Locally and by the radio station, yes, in particular. he does. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, we play, it, it, it is what it is. I, I kind of just got Bush used to it. Look, look, it's ill because you know, I realized my whole position in this industry. And what it is is that when I first came into the game as a 70 year old, this golden boy of hip hop, you know, everybody, I, the industry is like this big building to me, you know what I'm saying? So I walked in this building and everybody was like, ooh, mm -hmm. ah, like, yo, this kid right here, he's the future. Everybody putting his hands on him. But what I did was I walked straight. <laughs> Straight through that building, you know what I'm saying? And I left through the back door. And then after that, everybody they didn't really want to help the kid out anymore. Mm -hmm. So, like, everybody, like, you know, in the industry, of course, going up the stairs and going up the elevator is how you get up. So, what I did is sitting at the back of the building, I started meditating and levitating off that bitch. And now I'm on the fifth floor, just fucking floating <laughs> in the sky. Power. And that's why everybody try to leave Joey Bass out the conversation, but it's all good because I'm still here. And you can't ignore Hovering, that. Hovering, lurking. But hold, but it's still, it is, it is, what you said, what you said is 90% accurate. No, right. no, 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 no. It's 99.999%. Yeah, but what about, but, what about, but literally, literally, and I know I'm, I just do my own little piece. I have literally played something Joey Badass probably every week for two years, right? Because you my man, well, I know. bro. No, but no, no, but no, he's no. talking about regular no, no, rotation. Connect, connect, oh. connect, though. Connect. Oh, my bad, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know, I know. But I just want, brother, I don't, I, bro, like, so I'm the one percent. You're saying? Yeah, I mean, like, no offense though, but you, but you play me, you know, on the Sunday slot. You know what I'm saying? I know. Every I know. Sunday at midnight, when like most people are sleeping. How dare you? Know you know what, say what I'm saying? What you're saying? I mean, yo, bro, it's, it's you factual. know, you know no, I, I would it, I never, understand. I would, you know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. That's facts, bro. Like, you know, it's it a is what it is. You deserve a better position with your radio show. I'm going to say that too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's been spending that shit, killing that shit, helping all of these local artists for a minute now. It's time y'all move Rosenberg up too. Thank Making you. an impact out here. Thank you. Now, I support I support the weirdos like Joey Badass, yeah, and yeah. I support the street shit. The, the other weirdos. <laughs> the other weirdos. What makes them not a weirdo? You know, nothing. The street weirdos. The street weirdos <laughs> and the rap nerd and weirdos. All weirdos. All weirdos. The street, we all weirdos, man. Um, we said we was going to talk Steve's Day, and this is uh, an amazing thing that you've put together, you and your whole family, Pro yes, Era, um, along with Central Park Summer Stage, and it's mm -hmm. amazing that they're giving you the main location in Central Park so yeah. um, for this event. Talk about why you're doing it. Uh, what it's about and w what we should expect tonight. 
Um, first of all, don't expect anything from nothing. Well, from performance nobody right, around. You know, just well, I, know, I know, I know. My guy Smoke Dizza is, is performing, right? My, we got, we got, we got. Flatbush Zombies. We got Smoke Dizza. We got these new young cats out of Brooklyn who you actually going to dig. Their name is Tutu Love. We got um phony people. We got underachievers. We got Flatbush Zombies. Of course, Pro Era. And um, you know, basically, so. You know, seven seven is Steez's birthday, mm. and um, you know, last year we 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 called like just a a last minute gathering, and um, we did it in Prospect Park, and we were just so like blown away by like you know how many people came out. It was literally like a a two day in advance not- notice, like yo, meet us at meet us here, da 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 da, and you know, so many people came out. We just realized like next year we. We gotta make this official, and um, you know that's what we did. Uh, I hit up my booking agent, and I was like, "I want to do this, you know, big festival in honor of Capital Steez. How can we do this?" And we just been working on it ever since like March, mm. and you know, and, uh, I was here. And all the money's going to all the money's going to straight to his fan. So that's another thing that you know I'm really happy about that's too. That's beautiful. We're gonna have a lot of um exclusive merch out there too, you know. So oh really, new yeah. merch? Yeah, 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 exclusive merch. Merch you can only get here at the festival. So it's, it's like Steez Day merch. Steez Day merch oh, is gonna oh, be sold dope. out. That's like, really cool. You ain't gonna find it nowhere. So yeah. tonight it's in Central Park. And it's already sold out. Already um, sold out. But if people feel- already there. <laughs> really? Or, yeah, them kids is already there. Yeah, trying they, to get yeah, a spot in the front, man. Yeah, yeah. That's dope, man. Good for That's you guys, dope. man. It's pretty cool, man. I'm, Pro I'm really era, excited. um, you know, I, I'm look. I'm, I'm sitting back watching the movement. You know, Rosenberg's been on the front lines. You know, we had some pretty good success <laughs> with the record with Kaiser. You know what I mean? We appreciate you coming out and supporting Summer Jam at the festival. Let's try to get this thing. No even I appreciate y'all going. for having me, man. Like no, you know, what I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm always humbled. At the end of the day, I'm just grateful to be here. You know, what I'm saying like this is my second time here, basically in like a year. You know that that means something to me alone. Like that's enough, honestly. Like. No point in telling. You know, I'm about to go check enough in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we had um we had Rocky here a little while ago, and we were talking about um with him why at times it's like people shout out to Rocky too. That's my brother. Man. People kind of push him into like this, like oh he's not like when I play Rocky, like you'd be surprised. A lot of the people, some people out there who like fuck with you mm-hmm. will hit me and be like oh Rocky blah blah blah. But I feel like Rocky, you know, from the beginning has been very connected. Talk about like what that record did for you. One Train was a really big early oh, yeah. appearance for you. Nah, One Train really put me on like um just to larger audiences because um you know when I first came out, you know, Rocky was at basically like, you know, just peaking at his uh at, at his success with his first album and everything. And um I actually realized what it did for me when I first went overseas and I performed. I was like, "Damn, like this record is 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 it took took me like you know all the way across the pond and you know making me making me big all, all the way across the pond so you know I've been grateful for that moment and every time me and Rocket we see each other at these festivals and he and he bring me up for one train is always a golden moment too you know I'm always honored to be on that stage with him and just deliver that energy to that crowd so shout out to my man Rocky too and also Kaiser what how did that relationship come about um, oh because I love the record teach me how to dance off yeah we played yeah. that in rotation but also the one you did on her album like what was that relationship um so basically like I seen the hideaway video sometime last year um her record was tough mm-hmm. my homegirl had put me on and when I seen the video I was like this like a new age female version of like Michael Jackson. Like that's exactly like how I viewed it. The Hideaway joint with yeah. the, like, got like two hundred million views. Uh-huh. And I and I just basically tweeted, I was saying, um, I love Kaiser. This new video is great. And she just followed me back and just DM'd me like, Yo, we should work. My manager been telling me about you. We actually reached out to you to you and you kinda curved us, but it's all good. <laughs> and then I, I I remember too, they reached out a long time ago trying to get me on the record and I was kinda like I, I don't know if I was like iffy about it or if I just didn't know. It slipped through the cracks. It slipped through the cracks, you know, either way. But then, you know, we linked up at her studio and we just knocked out those two joints that night. That was dope. You know, it was just instant chemistry. So it was. Did you get brushback from some of the hardcore pro era fans about Teach Me How to Dance? Um, nah, not really. I mean, when it first came out, like everybody was, was of course, like, whoa, like, whoa. He's like, making a pop record. Whoa. Yeah, but yo, honestly, when I performed that joint, like, over, I don't like performing in America. It's weird. <laughs> it doesn't it feel just, right. Yeah, because you know it's never really a, a, a the perfect time for me to play it in my set. To be honest, because my whole set is just like so 
high energy, in your face, yeah. bars, call and response, and then, you know, it's never really the right time to get into <laughs> teach me how to <laughs> dance. And, how to, and you know, in the U.S., they're so not like, as musically open-minded <laughs> Exactly, yeah. exactly. So I literally don't ever perform in the U.S. Only sometimes. One time I was um, at this college show in Connecticut, and I was performing during my regular set, and this girl ran on stage. She, like, was like, yo, play Teach Me How to Dance. <laughs> While I'm rapping, doing a song, like, I'm in, like, doing some type of song, and she's like, yo, please teach me how to dance right uh -huh. now. And I'm like, word? I told my DJ, stop. And when I tell you all of these girls came on stage, that's the way to do it. just started <laughs> pop, locking, dropping, <laughs> everything that they had. It was it was crazy. You know what Afro Man would have done if that had happened? Oh, stop, <laughs> stop. Let's not put him in. We don't need that happening no. to Joey Badass. It's not going to. Nah. It's not going yeah, to. He just performed the song. He takes the request. Oh, is that what you want to hear? All right, I'm happy to play for it. Yo, I'm also go. on tour right now, man. So make sure y'all come check the kid out. World Domination Tour. We all over the world. You know what I'm saying? International Loving Can we have some tickets To give to people the Can we give away or Your show sell out so fast we Yo can't give away let's tickets. do it Let's organize it High 97 ticket giveaways yeah. The world domination And I, tour. now And I'm, I'm sorry I know we, we wrapped up But we gotta ask one question Go A couple months ago There was that big thing That happened Where everyone thought Ab Soul was like Leaving TDE For to Pro Era yeah. Speak on that Is that ever a possibility That oh, Ab Soul would be part Of Pro Era Or, or, or something like that Cause he's definitely I mean, close He's definitely Pro Era of Jays he's, 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 he's 47 I know that man He got a tatted Absol is my brother, man, but I can't speak on that too much. But why couldn't it, why couldn't he be both? affiliated both? It's not like Word, or is that, ain't is that, no crime. I don't see why not. Ain't no crime. It's just real rap shit, right? There you go.